name is Alyssa Mahadeo, journalist and community reporter, and I dedicate my time to searching for the stories that matter the most. Positive, uplifting, and inspiring stories that spotlight the challenges and obstacles we conquer to become the people who we are today. I don't know about you, but I'm tired of all the fairy tale lifestyles that people seem to be living on social media. Girl, you did not wake up like that. I'm interested in the genuine connections, the honest opinions, and the real uncut version of your true self. This show is about keeping it 100% real, deconstructing who we are and what we're all about. Join me as we sit down with individuals to discuss the personal struggles, the many challenges, and the moments that define us on this journey of self-discovery. Let's be real, life isn't fair and people make mistakes, but every opportunity is a learning experience. Let's discover the truth together right here on Real Talk. And what's up everyone? Welcome to Real Talk with Alyssa Madu. Just kidding, Christina Ramtran. That's right, I'm her replacement today. And today on the show, we have someone very, very special who's here to combat your stress and make your life stress-free. That's right, we have Veronica Hislop. She is a coach, she is a female entrepreneur, uh, and most importantly, she is here to give you advice on how to handle your stress and how to combat your stress. So today we're gonna to be talking to Veronica. Feel free to chime in in our conversation today by hashtagging RealTalkTCN on any social media, whether it's Facebook, Twitter, Instagram. We're gonna answer your questions today and we're gonna to get to the bottom of your stress today. All right, so Veronica Hislop, she's gonna be on in a moment. So you don't wanna miss this one, stay tuned. Stay on your Facebook Live, stay on your YouTube, whatever it is you're on, stay locked on here, and Real Talk will be right back. Think you have what it takes to bring value to the community? The TCN TV network is expanding and now accepting TV show proposals. Here's an opportunity to build celebrity status and become part of an elite group of community advocates that are focused on building, strengthening, and empowering our community in a positive way. Are you interested in embarking on a new adventure? TCN TV is searching for people interested in opportunities to change the conversation and pave an unforgettable legacy. If you feel you have something of value to offer, send a written show proposal to shows at mytcntv.com. And we're back on Real Talk with Christina Ramtran today and our very special guest, Veronica Hislop, right beside me. Hello. All hello, right. Hello. Awesome. So today we're going to talk everything stress and more with Veronica. So as we know, she is the CEO and founder of Empowered Solutions. So tell me more about that, Veronica, and how that started off. 
Um, Empowerment Solutions is a company that I started about four years ago. And I, I, I come to uh, the work that I'm doing right now um, uh, from the, the realm of, of um, therapy and being a trauma counselor. And um, I found myself in a stressful situation having to deal with stress myself and yeah. um, you know just being totally overwhelmed by it. And um, it really had got me to stop and think about the kind of work that I do, but also, you know, about myself and how I handle stress. And um, uh, it, it was a wake up, shake up call for me. And I think through that, I began to start to look at stress busting techniques for myself, yeah. but also for my clients and to really kind of focus on that. Because I think um, it, we, we, we stress it's one of those things that we kind of um, poo 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 yeah. oh I just gotta get on with it I got the kids I got work you know right. and then one day you wake up and you can't get out of bed oh, yeah. or one day you wake up and you know it's depression or it's anxiety or it's yeah. a panic attack and it's because we haven't been paying attention along the way mm -hmm. to the signs and the signals that our body's been sending us our mind has been sending us and um so that it was through that that I began to um, um, develop my own programs in, yeah. in, in that area. Absolutely. And uh, tell me more about your focus with women and stress. I noticed that there is a stronger emphasis on, uh, you know, women dealing with stress and how, what are ways that you, you know, you combat that and you can help other women basically deal with their stress. Okay. So you're young. Yeah. You, you don't have a husband. No. You don't have children. <laughs> no. Okay. Thank and God. you're not, in, you're not sandwiched yet. So, okay. <laughs> So as you get older, yeah. as a woman, those things are going to present themselves to you. You're going to have, you're probably going to get married. You're probably going to have children. Oh boy. And, <laughs> you know, and you, you have to juggle a whole lot of balls. And, um, you know, it's not only your needs, it's kind of managing your children's needs. It's yeah. also, you know, trying to have a relationship with your husband. And, and of course, today, us as women, we, we, we're working full time and it's all of those balls that we have in the air and we have to try and keep them in the air and some of those balls are glass which is our own health and our own well-being and if we drop that ball then everything else is is, is going to to, um, to to crash and fall apart yeah. so really um, my work with women and I work primarily with women entrepreneurs because that's another whole um, uh, stressor in itself but I work with women to manage their stress and help them to prioritize their needs and set healthy boundaries um, in their interpersonal relationships so that they can get clear focus and grounded and to focus on their their business their entrepreneurship um, so anything that uh, is going to take them out of the entrepreneurship game um, I'm there to kind of help them to put some boundaries around that. So it could be, you know, you have a relationship, it's going really well, and then it breaks up. Yeah. You know, um, it could be, you know, you've got a 26-year-old kid, 26-year-old young adult in your yeah. home that's not launching, that's not getting out there, that's not, you know, getting out into the world and doing what yeah. he needs to be doing is in your basement smoking marijuana and <laughs> on the computer 24 7 and yeah. that's creating stress for you it right. could be just that you know you have teenage kids you've got older parents that need your help Absolutely. maybe your husband's parents may need your help and uh, you've got all of those things that you have to manage yeah. so um, yeah and and so my mission and I love this mission and I love working with women. It's not that I don't like working with men. Yeah. Um, you know, 30% of my clients are men. But I really think when we work with women, yeah. you get a bigger bang for your buck. Absolutely. You know, you're working <laughs> with women, you're working with, that filters down to their kids, it filters down to the relationships, and it ultimately filters down into the community. Absolutely. I mean, as a woman, you're basically a superwoman in today's society. You're just juggling everything, like you said. It's just the weight of the world is on your shoulders. Can be. Yeah. Can be. Well, most of the time. But, yes, you know, again, on your situation. when we prioritize yeah. our needs, set boundaries, yeah. and have expectations from the people in our lives, you know, we don't have to do it all, you know, and, and you know, figure out what can your kids do? 
you know, they can, at a certain age, they can start making their own lunches. Um, all you got to do is kind of look to make sure they've got the food groups in there, but you don't have to do that. Um, you know, they can, you don't have to put their clothes in the drawer. That's true. You, know, <laughs> you can do the laundry, laundry's done. Throw your clothes. Yep. You they know? gotta do they yeah. gotta learn some responsibility. Exactly. Too. exactly. Absolutely. I believe so as well. And so like coming off of that, um, can you name a recent situation that you might have been in or someone you knew that was in that was really tough like that and how they overcame that either with your advice or how you overcame that with your thinking? Well, like, I'll tell you about my own personal situation. Yeah. I became a caregiver. Yeah. to two um, uh, family members, my mother who had early um, signs of dementia and my brother who'd had a heart attack and a stroke. Oh, wow. And I was working full time and I was commuting, you know, an hour and a half, mm -hmm. one, uh, one way, so it was two, two, two hours really daily uh, in a job that was also very stressful. Yeah. And, um, you know, I'm juggling everything and trying to, to do all of this. I woke up one morning in the midst of a panic attack, massive panic attack wow. actually. I thought it was a heart attack, oh. but it was really only a panic attack. Okay, thank God. <laughs> and I knew that was my wake up, shake up call mm -hmm. that, you know, I needed to, you know, get behind this and do something about this yeah. or the stress in my life was going to, to take over. Yeah. and uh, overwhelmed me and I was going to be in a situation that um, was not going to be healthy. Mm -hmm. So the number one learning that I, I, I think that people have to embrace is the concept of awareness. Just, just tuning in yeah. and being aware with what's going on with you and being aware as to what's happening in, 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 in your life and how it's impacting on you. Absolutely. And, yeah. and, and then doing something about it. Yeah. Wow, that's really great. Awesome. Well, I guess we're going to cut to another break. Um, we're going to, you know, talk some more about uh, your current endeavors, um, some of the things you've been doing as well, like your books. Um, so everyone stay tuned for that. We'll be right back on Real Talk. This is Christina. And this is Veronica. Are you retiring smart? Make your home's equity work for you. With your home's equity and our 30 years of experience, the Retire Smart Properties team can help you achieve the quality of life you've always wanted. Our services are 360 degrees. We'll give you advice, take care of staging and selling, and help you find the perfect home and community to transition to. It's time to enjoy the retirement lifestyle you deserve. Visit our website today to learn how you can use your home to retire comfortably. The Retire Smart Properties team, powered by Remax West. talk with Christina and my lovely guest Veronica Hislop here and we're going to continue talking about combating your stress in your life and what Veronica can Veronica here can offer you and tell you about how you can do so and how you can manage stress in your life so Veronica we're going to talk about uh, something that you brought up to me about um, your your current endeavors that you have and you have online uh, courses I believe yeah, yeah I'm currently working on developing um, some online courses and one of the ones that I've been working on diligently which will be launched um, in July it's called imposter syndrome your kick-ass guide to recovery yeah and um, it's really about um, you know when we have that lack of confidence that self-doubt yeah. feeling inadequate um, about who we are and how we show up um, and, and, and just feeling insecure about our skills and our expertise mm -hmm. um, as entrepreneurs and, and how we put ourselves out there in the world as entrepreneurs. Yeah. Um, you know, feeling sometimes we're like, like, like we're fake or that we're a fraud. We're not owning <laughs> our, our, our potential and our mm -hmm. skills. Or even if, you know, people are recognizing you, it's, it's kind of like they don't know what's going on up here. They don't I, know what's yeah. going on here. Um, I don't really, I'm, I mean, yeah, they're acknowledging me, but I yeah. don't really feel like that. And if they really knew how I felt, 
um, then they would see that I was really actually a fraud, <laughs> a fake or a fraud. And the, 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 the interesting thing is it's, it's very common. Mm -hmm. um, uh, I think there are a lot of movie stars, um, Tina Fey, uh, Mike Myers, uh, Don Cheadle, um, Maya Angelou have all talked about feeling, I mean, Jennifer Lopez, here's a quote from Jennifer Lopez. She had raised, she had earned over $70 million wow. in terms of her records and she still felt that she didn't know what she was doing. Yeah. So it's that kind of thinking. Yeah. Um, and it, it, as I said, it's common to a lot of people. Absolutely. And so the work that I'm doing around that is um, you know just really putting together some tools, resources, tips, tools, tricks, whatever you want to call it, that um, when imposter syndrome shows up, you don't have to get taken out of the game. You can yeah. say, uh huh, uh huh. That's that negative critical voice up there. I know what yeah. you're saying, <laughs> and catch it, and use a tool, and then turn it around and get Absolutely. back on track. That, that's amazing mm. and and also um, I know that you know you're you come from a background of knowledge within all of this um, you're a trained family therapist you're a trauma counselor you have a master's degree in social work um, you're also a certified uh, life and relationship coach and soon to be <laughs> certified NLP practitioner <laughs> oh wow well congrats on that so I mean that's a whole lot of knowledge combined in one and 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 what what started you within this to, to to thirst for more knowledge within you know helping others and therapy and you know coaching others I just love to I just first of all I love personal growth I yeah. love it for myself um, and it, you know and I do a lot of self reflection myself and I love to see it in people um, you know a lot of clients uh, some of the, the I talk about the female clients that come to me um, they'll come and, and they're, 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 you know, they're, they're so um, sheltered. It's, it's almost like they're a little bug. <laughs> and you just give them a little nugget of yeah. information. And some of those women, they just take that information and they're pushing through that door. Absolutely. And they're gone, bye, Veronica. <laughs> I got it. <laughs> and they're gone. And I just love those clients. Oh, that's uh, amazing. But some of them, you know, they, 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 you, you give them information and... Uh, they still look at the door, not embracing that there's something beyond the door yeah. that if they just stepped over, um, there could be something different for them. Mm -hmm. And then there's some women that no matter what you're going to give them, they're going to still look at that door and not see that they could actually open it. They could push it. They could peek around it. Yeah. Um, they just feel that they need to stay they just it, it's Instinct. more comfortable for ah. them to stay where they are they don't want to break out the comfort zone you know, even though that comfort zone is killing them or it's painful. yeah you know? absolutely i mean i find that that's the common thing with a lot of people you know they're used to the routine they're used to everything that's around them and i just a sudden spark of change it can definitely offset everything well, because you're embracing something new yeah. and uh, you don't know how that's going to play out and you know you may be in pain but at least it's uh, it's familiar yeah. and um, you know sometimes it really has to be painful 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 yeah. before um, people do something about it yeah you actually make some progress yeah. and eventually get into yeah definitely yeah. a new lifestyle absolutely. Yeah. yeah and so also besides your education I know that you are a published author you have two books under your name right now and um, soon to be another book coming oh, up wow. so we have three in there well soon the third one so I know your first book is called how to tame the bully in your head and put him in his place tell me about that book it's just actually a little booklet more than a book yeah but it's very powerful information about that inner negative bullying voice that we have um, in our heads and so it's about bullying but it's not about bullying other people it's about how we bully ourselves yeah. with that inner critical voice and how and just some a very few little um, tips that I put in there in terms of how to turn that bullying voice around yeah. I mean it's always with us 
um, but we don't have to allow it to run amok. Um, you know, we can be very uh, compassionate with ourselves and kind with ourselves and talk to ourselves in a way that um, acknowledges that that bullying voice is there, but okay, yeah, I hear you, but I'm going to do this. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not listening to you right yeah, now. Like I'm turning you down and I'm turning up something more positive. Yeah. So really that's basically what that book is about is how to tame that bully inside your head yeah. and, um, put, um, and put him in his place. Yeah, it's kind of like like you know see those tv shows where you have like the angel on one shoulder and the devil on the other it's kind of like that devil that's telling you those things and wanting you to you know think about those stressful things and those bad things that kind of just linger right? except right. the devil kind of puts it in the concept of good and bad yeah and i and i really want people to be to just know that that's a part of you yeah and it's a part of you that you can be in control of Absolutely. as opposed to it being in control of you wow. and um we our bully voice is going to come up from time to time but yeah. hello <laughs> i see you <laughs> you're not going to get me today yep, not yep. today <laughs> back in your cage <laughs> just banish you yeah. Page yeah. absolutely, and I know your next book is called uh, "Find a Coach, Find a Counselor." Uh, so, is, tell me more about that one, and um, is it really about just finding help and just you know learning to find what kind of help you're comfortable with and uh, you know how to cope with that? Find a coach, find a counselor was a book I wrote because I think um, there are lots of helping people out there, and people just don't know. I, I felt at the time that people really didn't know the difference between coaching and, 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 and counseling. Yeah. And so I, um, I just kind of wanted to, to put that out there. Um, and I do both. Yeah. Um, and there's a blur. Uh, but, but um, yeah, I think, you know, it, when you really have a mental health issue, when you really have an emotional issue, coaching isn't going to cut it for you. Yeah. You really need to see somebody who's trained and qualified. Um, uh, to help you get over a hump, get over a depression, um, you know, uh, get out of a, a, a negative situation. Um, coaching, you know, you've got goals, you, you want to find your passion, you want to find your purpose, um, you want to uh, learn a new skill, um, you know, that's where coaching is coming, uh, would come in. I mean, I use coaches all the time. I have one yeah. right now as a business coach. It's a new skill. I'm getting into yeah. the realm of business. And I need somebody to hold me accountable. I need somebody to say, well, you set that goal. Um, you know, how come you haven't achieved it? Or you said you were mm -hmm. going to do that. And um, how come you didn't do it? So, I mean, I have used um, coaches myself. Yeah. Um, you know, but there is a difference between the two. And I just wanted to kind of articulate that a little bit more. It's actually a free book, actually. Um, and it, but it is on Amazon. Yeah. Um, but it's also available on my website. So yeah. if anybody's interested, Great. come on over to my website. Um, can I say what it is? Absolutely. Um, Go ahead. Empowered Solutions. Uh, www.empowered-solutions.ca. Actually, come on over. Take a look. I've got the book there, and I have some really nice, neat gifts that are free and available. Um, yeah. And um, yeah, I'd like to see you over there. All right, that's great. All right, so um, right when we get back from this little short break, we're going to talk more about Veronica's next book upcoming. Um, also, some more work that she has done as well, and um, any future current endeavors and opportunities you might have to get more advice from her. All right, stay tuned. Think you have what it takes to bring value to the community? The TCN TV network is expanding and now accepting TV show proposals. Here's an opportunity to build celebrity status and become part of an elite group of community advocates that are focused on building, strengthening, and empowering our community in a positive way. Are you interested in embarking on a new adventure? TCN TV is searching for people interested in opportunities to change the conversation and pave an unforgettable legacy. If you feel you have something of value to offer, send a written show proposal to shows at mytcntv.com. Are you retiring smart? Make your home's equity work for you. With your home's equity in our 30 years of experience, the Retire Smart Properties team could help you achieve the quality of life you've always wanted. Our services are 360 degrees. We'll give you advice, take care of staging and selling, and help you find the perfect home and community to transition to. It's time to enjoy the retirement lifestyle you deserve. 
Visit our website today to learn how you can use your home to retire comfortably. The Retire Smart Properties Team, powered by REMAX West. with Christina and your, our lovely guest today, Veronica Hislop. So today we do have the phone lines open in case anyone has any questions for Veronica. Um, you can reach us at our number, 647-931-4701. Uh, we'll answer your call, we'll answer your question, and we'll give you any of the advice you possibly need today. Well, Veronica will. I'm no expertise in that area. But going back to our expert today, we're going to be talking also about her third book that she's working on currently, or it's about to be released very shortly. So tell me more about that, Veronica, and what this one's going to be about. This book is about how we have those really important conversations that when people have crossed our boundaries, where we need to sit down and kind of set the record straight with people. People I'm talking about, intimate people in our lives, our, our, our partners, our kids, yeah. uh, maybe a friend, how we have those conversations in a way that's respectful to us, respectful to them, yeah. and respectful to the relationship. Absolutely. So, yeah, and while I'm, I'm doing it, um, it's, it, it's going to have information, but also stories uh, um, of people that have had to have, we all have had um, yeah. those conversations and how they came about, what they learned from it, and uh, the advice that they would give. Yeah, definitely. Wow, that sounds like something great. So are we going to also find that book on Amazon as well, online? Uh, when it's, uh, I'm still in the process of putting it together. Yeah. So it will be um, published on Amazon. It's called State of Play. That's the working title. Oh, nice. um, it may change, but we'll see. No worries. Yeah. I mean, it, it's still it's, early. Yes. You know, it's, it's still it, in the it's, works. It's percolating. Yeah. Absolutely. I mean, that's that's where all the great ideas come from. Absolutely. Yeah. Blossoms. So I know besides your books, um, you've also worked on a number of different articles. Um, tell me about your articles and what which article stands out most to you and what do you feel most passionate about? Because I know, I mean, I've been through your entire bio and I've seen a lot of things. Uh, it, it's crazy the amount of things that you've accomplished. And uh, yeah, tell me about that with your um, writing. Yeah, I, empowerment. I'm, I'm, yeah. I love empowerment, and I love to see people um, grow and develop. And um, the articles that I've written have been on stress. Yeah. Um, they've been on um, self growth. Um, I've written so many. I can't yeah, that, that's what I, I saw anger like, management. Yeah. <laughs> uh, <laughs> questions: How you question yourself and the power of questions. Um, you know, uh, uh, women in abuse. Yeah. Um, anything. I, you know. You know what happens is um, I'm driving the car and I've got one of those brains that's always going and I'm always there's always yeah. chatter going on in there. <laughs> And uh, I'm driving the car, and um, I think, oh my goodness! And you know, and an article just comes, and um, you know, uh, and it just comes to you like yeah, that. And you yeah, start yeah, going away. Yeah. An idea. Somebody gave me an idea yesterday. Like, for example, um, Michael Jackson's father passed away. Yeah, Joe Jackson. Yeah, right. and um, you know, the, the the thought of doing an article around. Um, men and, and their relationships with their fathers especially when uh those those relationships are difficult Absolutely. you know so michael struggled with um his dad and wanting i guess his dad was was hard on him yeah. i mean there's positives to it in the sense that if it wasn't for his dad he probably wouldn't have gotten into the business yeah but his father really pushed him and and, mm -hmm. and um you know he lost his childhood as as a result of that yeah. so there's lots of um work there was lots of work for him to do yeah. to make peace with his father Absolutely. and um unfortunately he wasn't able to to do yeah. that um so you know, there's an article right there. Yeah, uh, absolutely. That's percolating. <laughs> <laughs> that would be a very interesting. One yeah, to read in terms well. yeah, in absolutely. terms of the the relationships that we have with our parents and um, how we have to make peace with them in terms of um, what we got, what we thought we should have got, yeah. and what we didn't get. And I think the 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 
this is an article. It might even turn into a book. That's true. Uh, <laughs> but I think that the journey is for us to um, realize and come to a recognition and a realization that our parents are also human beings. And, um, and to see them as human beings. Yeah. And when we see them as human beings, then we get out of the role of just seeing them as mom and dad. And we get out mm -hmm. of the role of being a kid in yeah. relationship to them. And that way, we get to know them differently. We get to you know, sit down and have conversations with them about, yeah. you know, like, what did you want to do when you, you, you were my age? Or you know, what were your goals? What, yeah. did, you know, what did you want out of life? As opposed to it just being, you know, a parent. Yeah, child. typical mom and dad telling yeah. the child what to do, yeah. giving them that yeah. guidance. Yeah. You get to dig deeper and learn about them. Learn about care. them, yeah. yeah, and who they are and their dreams and what they wanted and you know, and, and you know, are they happy with where they are and yeah. you know, just it's knowing them as human beings. Yeah. So, um, that's something that I'm 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 looking at working on. That would be great because I mean it's um it's a reoccurring uh, you know, thought within a lot of people in society that I see like just whether they're my age or older or just any generation really, where you have these parents that want to pass down their dreams and their goals down to their children without realizing that their children maybe want to do something else. So in, in, a, in a case like that, like what, 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 what's some good advice or ways to cope would you give to those people who are in, stuck in those situations where a loved one is kind of guiding them in a direction where they kind of don't want to go, but they're guiding them based on what that, that very person feels? So. And at the end of the day, we, we do have to be true to ourselves. Yeah. Um, you know, at the, you know if, if, if you're, you know, somebody saying that, you know, you need to be a doctor and really your calling is to be a musician. Yeah. Um, at, you're, gonna, you're in conflict. You're going to be yeah. in conflict <laughs> with yourself. Absolutely. You have to be at peace with yourself. Um, and and own what's important to you. It's you, and, and it is your life. Yeah. Um, and so, you have to be able to kind of um, articulate that in a respectful way. Um, these are my goals. This is what I want to do, and this mm -hmm. is how. And it might mean yeah. that you have to move away from your parent or move away from that situation for a while, so that you can find yourself, find who you are. But it doesn't mean that you sever the ties, you know, and it doesn't mean that you don't um, go back and reconnect. Yeah. Um, you know, nothing, I, I don't believe anything is ever truly broken. Yeah. You know, we, we can all, especially with family, um, you know, we can always leave a door open. We can always make peace. Um, we can always, we should be able to, and I know I shouldn't use the word should. But um, we can always kind of go back and make peace and um, clear the air and, um, you know, have a, have a valuable connection at some Absolutely. point. Absolutely, yeah. I feel like that's something that's so important. And, I mean, you're, you're, like, you're the right person to really talk about this because you know so much. And you've also done work as a clinical investigator with the Office of the Children's uh, Lawyer. Um, tell me more about that and uh -huh. situations that you may have faced during that time you were dealing with that. Oh, well, I, I, was, I did assessments for the courts in yeah. custody access situations. Mm -hmm. And oh, I think I did it for about ooh, a good eight years. And then I just had to leave. Because what happens to children when yeah. parents are going through separation and divorce? Um, I think parents, sometimes it's like, it's, it becomes about them. Mm -hmm. And they forget that children have relationships with the other parent. And it just would break my heart when a child would not be allowed to entertain a notion of, an, of their other parent when they were with one parent. So they're with mom, but they yeah. can't talk about dad or they can't say anything about dad. Mm -hmm. um, or, you know, they, they can't embrace their father. They can't have a phone call with their father yeah. um, because of what's going on with mom. Or it could be with dad. Yeah, and I've seen parents that, you know, 12 years, they got divorced 12 years ago. Wow. And they're still fighting and they're mm -hmm. still arguing. And it, it is so destructive. Mm -hmm. And then, of course, you get into the legal system, which is adversarial as well. Yeah. So um, it's just... You know, it ha there has to be a, a, um, a better way of people un unhinging, mm -hmm. you know, understanding. I, I, I think, you know, 
one of the things I think that should be recommended is parents need to go through some form of divorce training <laughs> yeah we'll give you a divorce but you're gonna have, you're gonna have to take this course yeah <laughs> and you gotta pass the course yeah no that would actually be really good because i mean i feel like it's just such a common thing you see nowadays whether it's just you know amongst regular people or even celebrities in the spotlight that when you know something goes wrong between two people it's just like instead of just a simple divorce it just explodes into a fight so, you know, all of a sudden, yeah. the other parent is now a demon monster. Yeah. You know, he cannot look after the kids or be with the kids. But, you know, he babysat the kids uh, when you were working. Like, yeah. what's the problem? Great. You know, so yeah. how come all of a sudden he's this demon or she's this demon, mm -hmm. you know, or, or so, yeah. So, I mean, I did that for 10 years. <laughs> <laughs> and then I just couldn't do it anymore. <laughs> wow, well, I mean, going through something like that, you definitely know how to manage stress. That's for sure. You know, that's that's probably like top of the line stressful situation. Um, I also see that you were recruited as a mental health consultant uh, to work in England. Um, you're also part of a joint child investigative team of social workers and police officers. That was when I was in England. Yeah, oh. that was that was interesting. Wow. So how long were you in England? In I was in England for two years, mm -hmm. and I worked with JCIT, Joint Child Investigation Team. Yeah. And uh, it was uh, around um, some really serious child abuse uh, yeah. cases, um, and I was the mental health consultant on the team there, and. Um, uh, again, <laughs> I did that, and I thought it was talk about stressful job. Yeah. Um, but uh, yeah, no, I, I only did it for two years, and then I thought, ah, no, nope, this is not really what I want to do. This is, um, mm -hmm. I really, I really want to embrace more of the joy of life. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, it, it just becomes to a point where, like, it's just really stressful when you get across that line going into those... Well, it's not even so much stress. It's just that you're, you're, it's the ugliness of life. And, yeah. and um, I wanted to... You, when you do that kind of work, and this is, you know, for people who have those difficult jobs, you know, police officers, um, emergency uh, workers, where you have those jobs where you're being bombarded with yeah. um, heavy, heavy stuff. Absolutely. You really have to have the other part of your life um, balanced or, or the other part of your life um, um, peaceful, quiet, um, play. You know, when, when you leave that kind of work, you know, you've got to be able to wind down and you've got to be able to find healthy ways of playing and enjoying life or else, you know, you're just going to be worn down by that, yeah. that kind of stuff. Absolutely. Um, so, I mean, that was, a, that was the learning. That was great learning for me in terms yeah. of when you do those kinds of jobs, you really have to have um, the other pieces in your life. Um, and again, I guess, you know, it's planting the seeds of uh, stress management there. Yeah, wow, that's, that's really powerful. <laughs> Anyways, we're going to cut to our next break. Um, we'll be back shortly. We're going to be talking about Veronica's upcoming endeavors and also applying her knowledge to uh, current events in today's society with uh, issues of mental health amongst uh, all sorts of generations. And we'll be answering your questions. Feel free to call us in and also tweet or mention us using the hashtag RealTalkTCN. We'll be back. Think you have what it takes to bring value to the community? The TCN TV network is expanding and now accepting TV show proposals. Here's an opportunity to build celebrity status and become part of an elite group of community advocates that are focused on building, strengthening, and empowering our community in a positive way. Are you interested in embarking on a new adventure? TCN TV is searching for people interested in opportunities to change the conversation and pave an unforgettable legacy. If you feel you have something of value to offer, send a written show proposal to shows at mytcntv.com. Are you retiring smart? Make your home's equity work for you. With your home's equity and our 30 years of experience, the Retire Smart Properties team can help you achieve the quality of life you've always wanted. Our services are 360 degrees. We'll give you advice, take care of staging and selling, and help you find the perfect home and community to transition to. It's time to enjoy the retirement lifestyle you deserve. Visit our website today to learn how you can use your home to retire comfortably. The Retire Smart Properties team, powered by Remax West. Think you have what it takes to bring value to the community? 
The TCN TV network is expanding and now accepting TV show proposals. Here's an opportunity to build celebrity status and become part of an elite group of community advocates that are focused on building, strengthening, and empowering our community in a positive way. Are you interested in embarking on a new adventure? TCN TV is searching for people interested in opportunities to change the conversation and pave an unforgettable legacy. If you feel you have something of value to offer, send a written show proposal to shows at mytcntv.com. Are you retiring smart? Make your home's equity work for you. With your home's equity in our 30 years of experience, the Retire Smart Properties team can help you achieve the quality of life you've always wanted. Our services are 360 degrees. We'll give you advice, take care of staging and selling, and help you find the perfect home and community to transition to. It's time to enjoy the retirement lifestyle you deserve. Visit our website today to learn how you can use your home to retire comfortably. The Retire Smart Properties team, powered by Remax West. Hey everyone, we're back on Real Talk with Christina and our lovely guest Veronica Hislop. And as we were talking, we were talking about um, stress, of course, and uh, stress amongst uh, anyone dealing with a business, an entrepreneur, someone with all the weight of a business on their shoulder. And Veronica, you're going to tell us about what that situation is like and how's the best way to cope with it. Well, interestingly enough, and um, surprisingly, um, entrepreneurs have uh, higher rates of mental health than the general population. Um, higher rates of depression, higher rates of anxiety. Yeah. And um, I, I, that blew me away when I saw that. I mean, mm. I don't have the statistics in front of me, but, but they're out there. And um, I think when you have some high profile people um, mm. who are in entrepreneurship and who've actually committed suicide, yeah. um, then I think it's a bit of a, again, a wake up, shake up call, like what's, what's, what's going on? Absolutely. Um, and I think it's, it, it's, uh, it, it's entrepreneurs, you know, um, you, you set goals, you set targets, but you may not be able to, to meet them. Yeah. Um, you, you know, you're always in a position where you're having to learn, you, new things are coming on the market, new platforms, new technology. Mm -hmm. um, you're never quite there. You yeah. don't necessarily have all the skills, all the tools in place, but you gotta kind of, you know, hit the floor running. Yeah. Um, you know, and then of course you have family, you know, all of those kinds of things yeah. um, can get in the way of, of, of um, or can uh, uh, impact on how you show up as an entrepreneur. Yeah. Um, and the other statistic that I saw was, and I, this one I did remember, 36% of entrepreneurs knew that they were struggling with mental health issues okay. but refused to get help, wow. did not get help. Um, and, and I think part of that yeah. is again, you know, that inside, how we feel on the inside mm -hmm. and how we feel that we need to project on the outside. Yeah. And um, I think as entrepreneurs, we need to talk more with each other, um, talk and, um, with people, professionals, um, about how we're coping or not coping. Um, and, and really, and I think the other part is, is entrepreneurship can be a very lonely, yeah. Um, uh, job if you're the only one doing it. Um, so reaching out and connecting with people, mm -hmm. um, connecting with the right people, talking to a coach, talking to a counselor, talking to your doctor. Um, and, and I think we also have to um, uh, not get caught up in this issue, the stigma of mental health. Mm -hmm. You know, I think there's that's, that. That's true because I feel mental health is definitely, it's so mainstream at this point. I mean, nobody was talking about, you know, depression and suicide and anxiety as much as they are talking about it now. And so how do we really differentiate between this uh, mainstream form of mental health and what is actually constituting as mental health? Well, mental health is yeah. our mental well-being, and yeah. we have a responsibility to take care yeah. of our mental well-being, and stress is very much a part of that. Mm -hmm. So again, you know, it's you know we have to take that seriously. Mm -hmm. um, you know, doing something about our stress. You know, uh, you know, 
I, I'm paying attention, noticing when we're getting off track. So if you're not sleeping, pay attention to that. Yeah. <laughs> you know, if you're, if you're not getting good, adequate sleep, yeah. you, you kind of get into that pathway for a couple of nights in a row. And then, you know, you can really end up in, in, in some very serious issues. Yeah. So paying attention to, to um, what's going on with us mm -hmm. and uh, never sitting alone. If you're kind of getting depressed, don't sit alone with that. Yeah. Um, you know, reach out, connect. Sometimes all it is, it's the very act of talking is, you know, that you're not alone or just sharing is, 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 is actually what does it for you. Yeah. Um, and, and, and also... Um, Understanding that, you know, everything that, that you're going through, somebody else has gone through as well. Yeah. So it's not just your thing. I think we feel um, sometimes that we're alone, that it's only about us. Yeah. But, but, you know, other people have gone through that as well. And, and you can learn from their experience, how Absolutely. they coped, how they managed. Um, so never sit alone with <laughs> with them. Um, with unhealthy ideas. Yeah, I think being alone with your thoughts is really one thing that can make things escalate <laughs> to you no know, point. I actually had a period of time where I was doing a little office job and it was just me alone mm. in an office. And that, it was just like there was these voices everywhere telling me things and it was, you know, it came to a point where it was so stressful and I was like, I need to be around people, I need to at least have someone to talk to. Absolutely. And I definitely see that there's an importance in having someone to talk to and uh, be there for you. And, um, and somebody who can understand because that, you know, you may want to talk to your spouse, but they may not get it. Yeah. Um, or they may not actually like the fact That's that you're true. an entrepreneur and <laughs> yeah. what you're doing. Um, so talk to somebody that it can be objective, mm -hmm. um, that's kind of outside of you, that can help you to to see yourself differently and can give you a different perspective and can be supportive and yeah. encouraging and supportive, but also hold you accountable. Absolutely. I know we do have a couple more minutes left, but I want to talk about you and what you have in store, what you have upcoming, any other projects beside the book that you did uh, know. If there's anything else that you would like to say. I have the online course, which I've yeah. talked about, which will be launched. I have the book coming up. And I also have some packages on my um, website that I'm, and I'm, I am developing more. I'm working on a passion, purpose, and play package. And, I, it's, and I'm just really getting, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> it's so Ooh. divine. I'm really, yeah, I'm so really nice. getting um, carried away with it because I'm loving it. Yeah. And uh, so that's going to be out soon as well. Sounds exciting. Yeah. Absolutely. And then also um, everyone that's uh, been watching, I mean, even if you're not watching this live because you're probably going to be watching this later if you're at work, um, you can reach out to Veronica. Tell us more about where we can reach you. Yes. If you are interested in connecting with me around the online course it's called imposter syndrome your kick-ass guide to re to recovery you can email me and get on the wait list um, those people that are on the wait list will get a discounted price for the course so email email me at vhislop at simpatico.ca or you can come over to my website, www.empowered-solutions.ca and connect with me that way as well. Absolutely. And um, all of Veronica's uh, social media tags are listed under the video on the YouTube description and the Facebook description. So if you do want to follow her on any of her uh, online uh, social media accounts, feel free to do so. Get in the know, keep up, find out what's going on with her online courses. And also, you can follow me on there as well. I don't know if it's mine or Alyssa's that's listed there, but you'll find me either way on Toronto Caribbean as well. Um, and Veronica, I just want to thank you so much for coming in today and speaking about this very important topic today because I know that it's something, it's kind of like the elephant in the room in today's society. And uh, we need someone that, you know, has a very strong opinion and is very knowledgeable just as you are to kind of break the silence on that. And thank you so much for having me and look forward to connecting with you on my website and also through um, email. Absolutely. And this is Christina. This is Veronica. And we're signing out today on Real Talk. Have a great day.